Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and in this episode we're going to do a month after the Prusa i3 Mark III. Okay, so I have had plenty of time to review this printer now. It's been a very long time since I uh, first received the printer. I say very long time. It's been a month. Uh, and the printer is printing beautifully. Pretty much anything that I put through the slicer software that you receive with the, with the printer has printed flawlessly. Unless, obviously, I did miss some things out in the settings, such as uh, one thing that I'm printing right now, which I didn't notice but bef uh, before, but it did. It has um, a very slight lift in different parts of the bottom layer. I didn't put supports on. That caused a bit of a fuss. That caused a bit of an issue because um, it was trying to print on the top bits, but there was nothing there for it to grip onto. So it then, when it came around to grab the other bits, there was a clump of plastic. The clump of plastic pulled the bottom bit off the bed, and that happened to me about four times. Um, so that is for a print that will be coming up this Saturday, I believe. So stay tuned for that one. Um, I might talk a little bit about how there was a few failures with it or not. I'm not really sure. But this is about the i3 printer. I have, I, I'll tell you now, I have printed some incredible things with this so far. So, I mean, just off, off the top of my head here and what, from what we are, here's my N logo. This N logo is crisp, it's clear, it's nice. I printed some things for my own game here. Um, they come out very nice as well. Um, they are exactly as I hoped. Um, and then we'll go on to some of the test files. Now the test files that you have seen already, the dragon, this is a month after. This is the same dragon as last time, but still, the quality of this dragon is incredible. The wings, you know, it, feel, it feels like a, a proper... It, it kind of feels like it's something, something you would buy from a store because of how good quality it is. And if you didn't look uh, as clo like close into it and try and look for layers, you wouldn't notice at first. And until people said they were 3D printed or whatever, then you would look into it and see that they're layers. Next up, we have the dog. Now, I'm not sure if this was in the last one or not, but either way, I'm going to talk about it again. This dog came out really well. Um... The detail in his face is very good, um, and if you were to paint this, uh, even a, a small layer of paint over the top of it, you wouldn't be able to notice that it was 3D printed. Um, and also because I think this is printed in a slightly more dense amount, it feels it has a bit more weight to it, and you can really notice it in that model. This is the. Triceratops skull, I think it was called. I can't fully remember now, but it was something like that. It's like a dinosaur skull. It looks amazing. Uh, this is a print that came on the card with supports. So this is the, I think the only one that comes with supports out of the box. It prints like this, and after you take it up and off the bed, you pull the supports off. Now, pulling the supports off of this model was surprisingly easy. I just had to get a little wedge underneath, crack it, and then pretty much the whole support system came off in one chunk. And that is something that I've not seen on any of my other printers before. So it was very nice to be able to print uh, and see something in that, in that style. Then we have over here the frog. Now, the frog... Uh, there's two different types of frog. So one of them is done at 50, I believe, and the other one is done at 150. And you really can notice the difference between the two. Um, the 50 is definitely um, a lot smoother, uh, but also it might not be clocked in perfectly because of the, there is a very strange fuzz underneath. Now, I'm not sure if that is... I'm not sure if that is supposed to happen. Um, but, I mean, when you look at the back on it instead, it is so much clearer. It's it's crazy. Um, so I'm not really sure um, what went wrong with the underneath of mine. But there was definitely some kind of thing that I may need to look at in the future to do with that. 
which is uh, which is interesting. The last one is this one. Now this is the bearing. It spins freely. It prints on the bed as one piece. This is how it came, and it's just a great piece. It's a it's a real great piece. This is one that you can show to other people that you know, and say this is what I printed on my printer, and they'll be fairly impressed with that. And I've done that myself. So, yeah, as you can see, here's all the things I printed so far. There's another thing over here, which I will show you in a video upcoming. Um, the only thing with this one is that it's a bit too high for my printer, I think. I'm not really sure. I think it might be a bit too high. Um, but yeah, either way, that's there, and that is something that I need to sort out. Um, uh, and also, these things here. I don't know if you know what these are. These little blue, little blue pellet things. Um, but yeah, more stuff to come in my upcoming videos. Don't forget to stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, and uh, yeah, ring the bell so that you can get notifications of when my videos come out. We're going to be. Um, I'm going to be. Well, I'm going to be trying to hit as hard as I can with videos to make them more interesting, more entertaining, and um, just better generally. Maybe quality was lacking a little bit in the past, but I do seem to have an influx of people watching at the moment, which is really nice, really good. Um, and we've hit 1,500 subscribers as well. So, also, if you like this video, if you didn't like it, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you'd like to see. I also have another series called 3D Showcase, where I showcase really cool 3D prints that you guys have made or that you have seen on the internet that could be very useful for multiple people so if you guys have anything that you would like to showcase in there please do post it in the comment section below and i will look at it thanks for watching i'll see you next time